Hello. Hello and welcome back to our recap video. WWE Money in the Bank. Yes, we got Justin. Yes, I am here. Okay. And at my house. Yes. Um, the, um, of course there was a one kickoff match and it was a non-title match between the Usos and Rowan and Danny Bryan. So and the Usos win. Yeah, Usos won. Usos win. They get a title shot. There you go. <laughs> it's funny though. The Usos call them SpongeBob and Patrick. Fun fact: the guy who plays the voice for Patrick is uh, Scandinavian, or he's Norwegian, yeah. as my mother has told me. And it's funny because you also play Broad uh, Broadway on Gargoyles. Yeah. Right. And the and uh, the Usos won with like they did a double Us. From the top, obviously. So, but anyway, oh, they did a double st frog style. Yeah, they did like a on Danny Bryan. But we had another development that happened tonight. Sami Zayn was attacked. Yeah. And all, and he was. Well, let's see. Earlier, we see Braun Strowman just smashing everything up, looking for Sami Zayn, because he's all pissed off because what happened Monday. He got kicked out of the um. Uh, money in the bank, and then we see Sami Zayn going for Triple H for um, protection, and he ain't having that. Then we find Sami Zayn hanged upside down, almost like he was beaten within an inch of his life. Yeah. And Triple H immediately bans, uh, bans uh, Braun from the sh uh, from the uh, arena. Yep. And uh, Braun's like, I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever. But the very first match of the Money in the Bank was the Women's Money in the Bank match. And the first person to come out was Naomi. Naomi, and, and she had like a bumblebee. She looked like bubble. Uh, looked like uh, B from the Teen Titans sh uh, cartoon. She got the poofy Afro pigtails, and she was wearing black and yellow. Yeah, black and yellow, black and yellow. She was a B. And then you got Carmella versus Nikki Cross, Mandy Rose, Amber Moon, Dana Brooke, Natalia, and Outlast is Bailey. Yeah, and we already called what was going to happen during the middle of the match. In the middle of the match with um, Mandy, her yeah. partner. So there was going to be the same thing that happened last time with um, Carmella with Emsworth, but it was um, but it was a. Uh, Sonia, that shit didn't happen. Yep, it was funny because come it was Mandy Rose was gonna go t on the top rope, and Carmella's limping, uh, limping back from the back because she, she got injured earlier. And she's attacking, and um, Sonia's like, nope, 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 we're not having this. She so she had to uh, tap, tax Carmella. She's helping Mandy Rose. She's putting her on her shoulders, helping her climb up the row, uh, the ladder. Bailey and, shows up, and then Bailey goes, "Hello, push." And Bailey took the uh, took the briefcase, so now she is Miss Bank. Yep, she's Miss Money in the Bank. Um, and she goes, "I'm not just Bailey. I'm Miss Money in the Bank." And now, now we got the quickest match, uh, in. The qui the quickest win, yes, out of the whole thing, Rey Mysterio and Samoa Joe. Here's the thing for the U.S. title. Yeah, here's the thing. They're in the ring. Joe is gonna power slam him. Rey counters into a via roll up, and just well, let's see. Rey punches him in the face. Joe's ble has got blood smeared under his eye, and his nose is bleeding. And then he, that's where the VIP roll-up happened. And it was just over like that. Like like a minute. So now Ray is champion. Is now the United States champion. But then Joe comes out and attacks him. Yep. Attacks him. Of course. And then after the Ray match. Oh wait. You said that about. You said that already. Yeah. Joe but, attacks and then Dominique uh, shows up to try to help his dad. Um, and then it shows like a little promo that Mick Foley is going to be tomorrow on tomorrow and announcing some new WWE title. 
It better be the hardcore championship, because if it's Mick Foley announcing it, it has to be the that hardcore champ. I bet it'd be messed up if it'd be the hardcore championship and then Dean's gone. That would have been a perfect title for Dean. I heard Dean's not, no longer, isn't allowed to be stepped foot on WWE. So. From what I heard. Same as Sasha. So. But anyway. Next! Is the most pointless is the most pointless match. Uh, the Miz versus Shane McMahon in a steel cage. Yes, it is. Uh, it was awesome, but the way how it ended, they're gonna keep this rivalry going. Let's see. Yeah. Towards the rivalry. end, Shane McMahon's holding on to the outside of the ring. Miz is trying to hold him to keep to bring him in. And then, let's see, let's see right here. Miz is holding Shane by his, Shane's yeah. shirt, and then sl Shane just slips through. Yeah, so Shane wins. This this rivalry is just never going to end until Miz wins, and I don't know when that's going to be. I don't know, but here's the thing. The, it's, I find the steel cage match, the rules, kind of pointless. If the Because uh, originally, it's the goal is to escape. You're supposed to climb out of the cage to win. But now, you got to crawl through either the door or pin or submit. You know what you do? Get rid of the pin and submit. Climb the cage. That's the only way to get out. That's the only way to win. Yeah. Yeah. But you never know. They only do the pin and submit because some of the people that can't, cl uh, can't climb give them the advantage. But, the next match... Tony Nese. Tony Nese first. Aria Davari. And the I, have no I, I have no idea who these guys are. Yeah, because they're on 205 Live. Um, Tony Nese has a missy says Ab Checker versus Aria Davari. Some tan wannabe, wannabe a tan man. Thinks he's going to win. But he ends up losing. And Tony Nese ends up retaining. He did his running knee to the corner for the win. It was, a, it was an interesting match. But, yeah. And then, those two triplets of Braun, you already, already said, said it. That. But it doesn't matter if it's out of order. Here is the du the, the, the double it's women's title match. Yep. First is the Lacey Evans and Becky. Yep, Lacey Evans for Speculins for the Raw Women's Championship. I'm disappointed. He the won. sassy Southern, Be Southern Belle lost to a tap out. Yeah, she tapped to the disarmer. But I can understand why. Because then right after that, Charlotte comes out. She's like, uh-uh, Becky. Our match is next. Come on, let's go, let's go. Becky's like, really? They're, yeah, they're fighting. The ref gets distracted and Lacey Evans just gives Becky the women's right and there you go. Charlotte is the SmackDown champion. Then Lacey and Charlotte... Double Blonde Fury attack, uh, beat up uh, Becky. Sh uh, then Bailey comes out of nowhere, attacks Lacey and Charlotte. Charlotte's about to spear um, Bailey, but ends up knocking her ass out onto the uh, ropes. Bailey cashes the be cashes in and is now the SmackDown Women's Champion. Yep. And lots of people, especially will be like, "Bo." But where's Izzy? Uh, he, she's probably, she probably was there watching. She usually we didn't see we didn't see her hugging Izzy. Usually that would be the best thing. And here's a, a quick match. Next quick match. Does it even count as a match? Oh my god! A walk with Elias versus the big dog Roman Reigns. Earlier the night, Elias a, a snuck attack Roman Reigns in the back with the guitar. Then he's out there talking or singing or whatever. Yeah. Walks up the ramp. Roman comes out. Superman mm -hmm. punches him. Punches. And he beats... Let's see. He, be, he beats yeah, he Elias. Puts, yeah, he puts Elias back in the ring. No gear on. He's wearing a hoodie. Rings the bell. Spear. Win. There you go. There you go. There's the win. These are what we would call filler little things. Like in any anime, if it goes on too long and they can't find if the sort if the source isn't done, so they can do the animations, they go right to filler, Boy. which are non-canon adventures, and they're just supposed to keep us waiting till everything's ready. Yep. 
And now, it's the phenomenal one, AJ Styles vs. Burn It Down. Beast Seth Slayer? Rollins. Or Beast Slayer, yeah. For, For the Universal Championship. Rollins wins. Rollins wins. That was a good match. I liked it. I liked that match because I like both superstars, but I was hoping Rollins was going to retain it. It almost came to a, a, a early, uh, an early win for Styles earlier. Seth Rollins was going to do the curb stomp, and then Roll, then uh, Styles reverses it into the Styles clash. Yep. And then he like there was a forearm, phenomenal forearm, and then he countered by a knee. knee, and then Seth Rollins super kicked him, and then he did the stomp, and, and then that's, that's how he won. And then they ended the ma they ended the match with them both shaking hands. Yep, because at first Rollins like this, and then so uh, so I was like, "Come on, you think this was, this was hard for me? Come on, come on!" And they shook hands. Next was Lucha House Party. This was just a filler filler thing. This wasn't even a match. They got their asses kicked by Lars Sullivan. Yeah, it was just pretty much Lars Sullivan demasling them. Now for our final match before the uh, men's ladder match, Kofi versus Owens for the WWE World Title. That was a good match. I was like, yeah, it was. They both brought uh, brought it. But Kofi wins. Kofi Kingston wins. He retains it. He it, this is how it was. Let's say he, he did like a boon drop. And then Owens ends up doing the Boston Crab. And then also Kofi did like an SOS. He, so he pins, kicks out. And then he did like a Trouble in Paradise. Caught into another Boston Crab. But didn't tap. And then also in the match, Owens did a pop up power bomb. Went to dig no, kick out. And then he went he went for the stunner, but um Trouble in Paradise. And rolls out. And then makes Owens rolls out of the ring. And he's starting to count. And he, Owens comes back in the ring and he does a stunner. Kofi grabs the rope so he doesn't get the pin. Owens goes on the top to do a swanton bomb thingy. Kofi puts his knees up. Knees all whoppy whoppy. Troubles in paradise. Trouble again. in paradise for the win. And that. And Woods and Kofi celebrate in the ring. Yes, of course. I'm surprised Woods Woods actually told Kofi he would be out in the back so, and let him do what he can do. So. Now. Now it's the. Men's. Oh my God! Men's money in the bank. This is will be some people say controversial, but I say this would be the highlight of the match because yeah. everyone knows that the one thing you need is a surprise or someone showing up. Because was it next uh, next month on June was it seventh is supposed to be Undertaker versus um, Goldberg. Yeah, Goldberg. Yep. For one time only, but then they're gonna do it two more times. Yeah. And then Demon Finn is fighting Seal Nomez for the title. Yep. And then Braun's fighting Bobby for uh, Bobby for some reason. Uh, I don't know. Probably a rivalry. But here we go. We got but Corbin. We got Finn. We got McIntyre. We got Ricochet. Omez. Mustafa Ali. And Randy Orton, which is only seven because Sami Zayn got injured. So. Yeah, they they, they took Randy out, out early. So. Everybody's getting It hit. was all Randy crazy. Almas did some crazy ass moves. Almas did, did like uh, some spinny thing to um, Finn on the top yeah, rope. Yeah, he did a sunset flip. No, it was on the top ladder. And he slammed uh, Finn onto a la another ladder. That was crazy. That part was crazy. Oh, yeah. And then... <laughs> let's just let's just get to the, um, the final moments because everybody's going to... Because... If we kept going on right here, we would um, be on it for all But, night. okay, the ending, okay, ends up being, okay, Baron Corbin at the end, okay, he's climbing the he's climbing the ladder, and then Randy Orton comes out, grabs an RKO, 
And Ali, he sta gets Orton out of the way and stops him. And then he's climbing, he's staring, and then, oh, here comes the surprise. Who comes out? Brock friggin' Lesnar. Lesnar is now Mr. Money in the Bank. Yep, he came out, he pushed the ladder, and he uh, sets it up, and he's le climbing up, doo -doo -doo -doo, grabs it, and he's sitting there laughing, <laughs> smiling with the briefcase. Yeah, we know he's going after Rollins. Wow. I thought we saw the last of him at WrestleMania. It's like, wow. You can't get rid of him. He's like herpes. Oh, I mean, I. That's a big shock, though. That's a big shock. Oh, oh man. Or crab. Well, no, it ain't crabs. It kind of thing. It's like rash. Yeah. Okay. What did you thought of this money in the bank? I, th you know, for it, it had some boring moments. It had some surprises. People are gonna be a little bit. Bailey fans are gonna be happy. Other fans are gonna be like. No, we figured Bailey's gonna win. I thought it was gonna be Nikki Cross. No, I thought because because gonna... the way how they're setting it up, she would t win the uh, the Money in the Bank. She gets t she could have got the title, and then Alexa Bliss would be like, "I want to fight you." Yeah. But then again, Bliss is raw, right? Yeah, she's raw. So sneaky. So, but yeah. so. I, I, I got, I'm gonna say my favorite match probably was. Um, I probably would say the woman's thing. No, AJ Styles and Rollins. That's a good one. I like AJ Styles and Rollins. Both good, but we don't know who was the heel and who was the uh, who was. Heel. It was hard because I, I like both. I don't think it was heel versus face. I think it's just. Two people trying to get, uh, put on a show. Yeah. Proving which one, uh, which guy is dominant. So, let us know. But here's the thing: if they put, if they um, that's the good thing that they did not put the main title matches last, because we fucking know that would, who that would uh, that would have happened. Yep. Because if you put the money in big last, you know the men would probably cash in and just like. The woman did. No, because here's the thing. If you put the money in the banks first, yeah, Lesnar would have cashed it immediately that night. Yes, he would have. Yeah. But then again, he, what, what could have happened? Um, sitting there laughing on a cooking ladder. Yep. Ugh. But, yeah. Lesnar, did you, did you like that Lesnar... Cat came in at the last moment and won. Did you did you like that part? I was a surprise. That was a, I'm pretty sure everybody was shocked. I mean, no, I definitely was. It's just like Usi hot. <laughs> oh my god! Ah, it burns! Ah, oh, we didn't expect it. And it burns. Ah, ah. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, and then he climbed up the ladder. It's almost like you poured water on it. It gets hot. It burns even more. Ah. That means, you know, interference from those guys. No revival. That's funny. We didn't see Raw Tag Team Championship. Yep. Huh. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. So. That's pretty much that's it. That's pretty much it for Money in the Bank. Let us know. Make sure you like. Comment. Subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. You can reach it. <laughs> Get it, Bobby!